Serious indoor growing for the average Joe is only made possible by the recent advances in technology. Advances such as these Mars Hydro grow tents. Grow tents such as this allow us to create near perfect greenhouse conditions to maximize our plant yields in a confined indoor grow space. But before I start growing indoors, whatever the crop is, I do like to customize my grow tents just a little bit to get the most out of the growing experience. So before I put this Mars Hydro grow tent through its paces, let's look at what I do in preparation for some epic indoor farming. As I showed you in the original unboxing video, assembling the Mars Hydro series of tents is really quite simple. Once assembled, I'm mainly concerned with two things, lighting and flooring. Let's concentrate on the lighting first. I'm currently working with the four foot by two foot grow tent. These guys come in a crazy array of sizes, so your lighting choices may be slightly different than mine. My preference for lighting this size of tent is either two two by two square LED lights or one four foot strip like the one I'm working with today. Light installation in these tents is a breeze. And once you're comfortable with both your choice and your installation, we can now move on to the floor. These tents are somewhat waterproof, but I would never rely on them to hold water. I always line the bottom of the tent where my pots are gonna sit with an appropriate size Rubbermaid. The under the bed storage ones are great. It just prevents a lot of possible mess, trust me. However, before we worry about any possible water leakages, we have to worry about the temperatures of our roots. Because my grow tent is resting right on concrete ground, I always line underneath my Rubbermaid tote a layer of insulation so that I can avoid completely chilling out the roots of my plants. If I'm growing indoors, quite likely it's gonna be a tropical plant. So keeping those soil and root temperatures above a certain level is gonna be super important. On top of that, because I am growing in the winter in Canada, I also install a four foot heat tape mat underneath my Rubbermaid. With the type of crops I'm going to be growing, this is going to be necessary in the dead of winter. Now we're all set up ready for any conditions that winter may bring. Starting in September, I plan to have quite a few indoor crops growing across multiple of these tent setups. It'll be fun to push the limits of what's possible growing in a temperate climate such as mine indoors in the middle of winter. As well, let's experiment and see what the actual costs are of growing these crops indoors artificially. We might be surprised at how much we're spending to grow these crops. As well, if there's anything you want to see me grow, throw it in the comments down below. I got a lot of these tent setups going, so I've got the space to grow multiple things. Let me know if there's something cool that you want to see me grow in Canada in the middle of winter. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, 
hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.